Welcome to the FS Survey tutorial about the second project step, entering questions. Here we're going to present you how to create an online questionnaire based on the project, website check. After setting up the project, you get to the survey menu, the starting point for editing your project. The survey menu offers all relevant submenus like the project information with specific information of the project and access to the panel partner program, layout, statistics, and the questionnaire editor to create your questionnaire. Create a new page first to start entering your questions. To do so, click on Create New Page or Filter, enter a page title and select a specific page type. There are standard and special page types available, for instance for loops or conjoined selections. Scroll over the question marks to learn more about them. Generally, the first page of the questionnaire introduces the respondent to the survey. We name the page Welcome, choose the standard page type and click on Create. Back on the questionnaire level, click on the newly created page Welcome to access the page level. Here you select the question types by either clicking on the magnifier or the drop down menu. The magnifier, very helpful for first time users, displays all available question types, single and multi response, text fields, metrics, sliders, ranking, image selection, flash, and special types for advanced users for self-programming. The drop-down menu, however, lists all available question types so you can quickly select one. To introduce respondents briefly to the survey, select the question type text and HTML code that is generally used to insert and lay out text information. Finally, click on Save. That leads you to the question level where you can enter the question text. EFS Survey offers some basic tools to edit text. Use the icons above the text field, for instance, for line breaking and bold typing. When you have finished text editing, click on Save. The green notice indicates a successful saving. The preview button on the question level shows you the question from a participant's point of view in a pop-up window. This way you can check directly your entry and adjust it if necessary. The questionnaire link redirects you to the questionnaire level to set up a new page for the next question. Here you either click create new page or filter or the corresponding icon representing a blank sheet in the actions column. The next step is to create a question to find out how people get to know the website. We name it attention, select the standard page type and click on create. Back on the questionnaire level, click on the newly created page. Here we're going to choose the question type multiple response list vertical and click on save. That leads you on the question level. Here you enter the question text, a fill in instruction if necessary and the answer options. By clicking on the icon next to the question options, you can activate more question options like hiding conditions and do an answer checks. As a question text we enter, how did you learn about our website? And friends, search engine and link on the website as the answer options. Besides, we present the answer option other in combination with the text field so the respondents can specify their answer. To do so, we set up a new variable for that specific answer option and switch the answer type from answer category to answer category plus text. Since there are more answer options listed by default than we need in this case, delete the last two by ticking the corresponding checkboxes. Here you also randomize answer options, indicate them as exclusive or implement any kind of hiding conditions. Finally, click on save. Check out your entry by clicking the preview button. Click on questionnaire. That leads you back on the questionnaire level. Now we just want to ask respondents who have learned about the website by a search engine which search engine it was. To do so we have to implement a filter first. So click on create new page or filter, then enter the title of the page, choose filter and click on create in the end. Next you have to define the filter. Click on search engine select the variable the filter refers to, in this case v31, determine the condition, here equal, 
and finally code 1 for quoted. In case you have to filter in terms of more than one variable, set up just another filter and link it to the first one by means of one of the two available conjunctions. The backlink leads you back to the questionnaire. Here we set up a new page for the question to survey people which search engine they have used. Click on Create new page or filter, enter a title of the page and select the standard page type and click on Create in the end. Back on the questionnaire level, click on the page link to get on the page level. There, choose the appropriate question type by clicking on the drop down menu. We choose fields for text input and select the question type text field single row. Finally, click on save. On the question level, you can enter the question text and optionally a fill in instruction. Finally, click on save. Click the preview button to see the question from a respondent's perspective. The link questionnaire leads you back to the questionnaire level. Here you have to intend the page under the filter via dragging and dropping to make the filter work. In the end we want to set up the final page. Therefore click on the page and select an appropriate question type as text and HTML code and click on save. On the question level enter the question text and edit the text by means of the icons above the text field. Click on save if you are finished. The questionnaire link leads you back on the questionnaire level where you can preview the whole survey. This concludes our EFS survey tutorial about the second project step, answering questions. If you have more questions, please have a look at one of our next tutorials. Thank you for listening and good luck with your project.